This is YSM Sports Media. I want to thank you for all your love and support. Really appreciate it. We wouldn't be able to do this without you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now and click the notification button for all future content. Recently announced, Manny Pacquiao, Earl Spence. Yeah, that's my, that's my favorite fight that has been announced so far. Um, it's an interesting fight because uh, Earl, I mean, Pacquiao hasn't fought in a while since Keith Thurman. Uh, he got the victory, but it's been a long layoff since then, so we don't actually know what he's going to come with. And Earl uh, just came off with a good victory against uh, Danny Garcia. A lot of people are saying that he's not the same since the car accident. So uh, a lot of questions going into this fight, but it's a real good fight. And it's a meaningful fight because I believe it's a unification fight. So three belts on the line. And then uh, I'm excited because after this, hopefully the winner of this fight could uh, meet Terrence Crawford at the end. So um, this is my favorite fight announced so far. And, uh, and my, uh, Castaño and Jamel Charlo, those are two fights I've been looking forward to. And um, yeah. It, you, I feel like you tap dancing, Mark. I feel like you tap dancing. You know what the next question is, man. Who wins? Who wins that fight? Oh, no, I ain't tap dancing at you all. Tap shit. dancing, I'm baby. Right Skibbly dibbly. I think, I think, I think Earl is gonna beat Manny Pacquiao because I believe uh, Pacquiao has a fought a southpaw since David Diaz. David Diaz. That fight was back in like 2000. I don't even know between 2006 and 2008. So it's been a good what? Over a decade that he hasn't fought a southpaw. No, Who's the um, last southpaw Earl for? Uh, Chris, Chris Van Heerden. Okay. Yeah, that was a little. That was a little bit of time ago too, but it's not over a decade ago. So um, it's something that Manny Pacquiao is going to have to go over in camp. I mean, I'm, him being so experienced, I doubt it'll be such a. It won't be that much of a tribulation. But he does have problems with people who understand distance. You know what I'm saying? Um, the only thing I'm concerned about uh, regarding Earl is that Earl, he likes, he, he keeps his head on the line. And when, he, when he keeps his head on the line, that's going to uh, leave openings for Manny Pacquiao to throw his left hand. You know what I'm saying? Left hand, bread and butter. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah. Is this the best Southpaw versus Southpaw matchup in the history of boxing? Shit, I would have to do some research on that, mm -hmm. but uh, shit is definitely a candidate. I would have to do my research and really look at Southpaw versus Southpaw to tell you, but uh, shit, it's definitely a candidate. It's, it's a great fight, man. Yeah, um, this just and Earl Earl has been taking good fight after good fight after good fight, so I give him a lot of credit. For that. Now, um, Pacquiao hasn't fought a, a softball since David Diaz, like you said. Yeah. Earl Chris Van Eer, right? What are some of the things that we can look for with a softball versus softball matchup? Because it's very rare. Uh, I don't know. I, from, what, from, from what I've been told, because I'm not a softball, but from, from what other softballs told me, they don't like to fight other softballs. Um, why, I guess, is... I guess, they just used to, because this is a right hand dominant world. So a lot of people, a lot of southpaws, they like to fight. They're used to seeing right handed fighters. So what I'm expecting, um, I, I, the way I see it, he's going to look for who's going to uh, take control in the jab department, which I believe is going to be Earl, because Earl throws it so frequently. Uh, and, man, what to look for? Southpaw and southpaw. I don't know, man. Mm -hmm. I, I, I just be thinking about the fight. I don't know what the hell is going to happen at all. Decision stoppage what? Huh? Decision stoppage? I don't know, man. Earl Beck was strength and conditioning coach. You know, when he was with Blue Ray, um, he was getting a lot of stoppages. Um, but, and then he said he was going to get a nutritionist on top of that. So that lets you know that Earl's going to be extremely prepared for this fight regarding uh, cutting his weight properly and uh, getting the right uh, workouts. And um, his past fights, he wasn't able to get knockouts, but I believe it was more because he wasn't prepared how he used it. So, um, I, I can see I can see Earl getting the stoppage, man. Um, I can really see Earl getting the stoppage. I don't, I can't see Manny Pacquiao getting the stoppage because uh, the last person he stopped was like Lucas Matisse. But besides that, he had like a little uh, dry spell with the knockout. So, um, either Earl... Either Earl by stoppage of decision or maybe Pacquiao by decision. Okay. Thanks, bro.